Shout out to Tony Yoko for picking up the European title. Still in development, I look forward to seeing the final product. One thing that confused me about Yoko is the massive potential not being tapped into by the promoters. We've seen in the UK what Matchroom have done with Anthony Joshua, making him an icon in today's generation of boxing. Here we have Yoko, who's the same height, similar complexion, athletic build with a smooth look and like Joshua, he also holds an Olympic super heavyweight gold medal. To top it all off, he's a family man, married to fellow French Olympic gold medalist Estelle Yoko. If that don't scream good PR, I don't know what does. The man's currently undefeated in 10 fights with 8 knockouts, but his popularity doesn't match a fraction of Joshua's. One could argue, maybe it was the violation ban in 2018 that holds his fan interest, but I beg to differ, because prior to this event, his name wasn't exactly ringing bells in the boxing scene. He may not speak English, but neither does Canelo. Tony Yoko sounds the full package. So what is he missing?